Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Trading the Markets. We are going to start right now analyzing a few pairs for the coming week. We are in October 11th. Uh, so through the week, we're going to be analyzing the markets, checking with the forex market got for us this week so we're gonna look at different pairs this week and i like to uh, add also some bitcoin analysis and also for gold just to make it a little bit different i have a couple of requests from um, some traders asking to analyze and uh, give our opinion on those pairs also so we are gonna start right right away uh, let's get, let's get it going. So, uh, first pair I'd like to analyze this week is um, JPNCD. Let me look for for it right here. My my list. One second, please. Where's JPNCD? Right there. Okay. So we are looking at the four hour. I am using multiple time frame system made by Tim with Irvin which is a incredible system okay so we're gonna start right right away okay for we're in the four hour right now and um, we've got a set of rules that we go with uh, with our system and right now where we are in GPNCD it's in a in a pullback stage right here if we look at that right there, four hour arrow, let me make it a little bit bigger right here. Four hour arrows telling us that we are in a pullback. Okay. Make it a little smaller. There it goes. And also let me get in my epic pen tool. So I can do some notes in the charts also. Okay, so we have brothers and sisters right here. Every time you get brothers and sisters, that's a magic arrow. We would call it the magenta arrow. Every time we get that one, we almost 100%. Uh, I don't want to say 100%, but we are like 90, 95% accurate that the market is going to hit that way sooner than later. Sometimes it'll take another high or another low, rarely. But it's it's gonna go that way. It's like telling us. You can see it right there. Me the, um every time we get this um brothers and sisters like this. That's what we call brothers and sisters. The market just dropped tremendously, okay? And you can see all the time that it happens, okay? It go it go up. Okay, it goes down, up and down. And now in the current time, we are right here. Sorry about that. Let me raise those real quick. We are in this area over here. Okay, we got brothers and sisters coming down last week. And now we are finding a pullback. Okay. And this is telling us that during this week or the first, or at least the first part of this week, that the market, it's going to um, start picking up. Let me look at one hour. Okay, one second. Let me look at the one hour right here. Okay, so in the one hour, the market is telling us that the pullback already started. It's going in an up direction. So we're expecting the market. Normally, I always uh, expect the market to to go um, either to this area over here or that all, all the way up area over here. Sometimes the market goes all the way up. Okay, this is a pullback. So we're going to put this mark right here. 
after that we're going to inspect the market to drops so our, your best trade and your safest trade is to wait for the market to get um on this area over here let me get rid of those circles so your best trade is um just to wait for the market to wait, wait on this area anywhere in that area over there then to the market to start pretty much dropping so that is the trade that we should wait if we are disciplined enough you know we we should wait for that trade right there okay so as we're waiting for GP USD I'm sorry GP and CD that's what we got right here okay so one second let me close my window right here okay uh, now let's go to USD dollar CAD that's what I had right here okay yes so let's look at the dollar CAD we go to the four hour okay on the four hour we are right here but that it's a PB okay the market is performing a pullback right there so obviously that's a very extended um, impulse already for the market um, so it's almost guaranteed that it is going to go up but um, we were going we will be doing a pullback so the best thing for us to do is to number one um, our group know that this is a pullback but if you're gonna trade this one for any reason obviously um, you got a very good uh, time to get in the market and when you get to this area right here you got to be very careful okay but um, wait for the market to do three moves pretty much I think the market is gonna go up then down and one more up and then to continue down falling let's look at the one hour right here yeah so it's it's the market is gonna start going out pretty soon and then um, after that move if you get a correction again this way the market is just gonna keep going up from that point so maybe the next three moves will be something like that something like this it can be a sharp correction it can be a sideways correction let's put it right in the middle then after that the market to continue in the up direction okay so that's what we're waiting for the market to do on the USD cat this this um, week um, I also got NCD I think it's CD cat in one second no one see DCHF. Let's look at that one. All right, there we are, right there. Okay, on NCD CHF, we have this uh, brothers and sisters right here. So that is telling us that the market already started going up. Now the market is going to do a um, a retracement or a pullback. to maybe that area or anywhere in this area over here so we'll put a half of the weight right there that's normally 50 percent of the fibonacci to 61 percent but if you look left if you look like left like um tim what Irvin is teaching us before you know look left and look for those brothers and sisters and obviously we got we got that brothers and sisters right there and this one so um, i believe the market is going to go right here okay or it can go very close to that area over here oh, maybe it goes to the bottom we're gonna leave it right there after that we're gonna expect the market to continue do a continuation trade because we got brothers and sisters right here and also we are going with the master trend so that's that's another very good trade that we should um keep an eye this week you know we'll do a circle also i don't know if the circles are gonna stay but 
Sometimes they stay, sometimes they go, you know. We'll see. The, that is the area right there. Okay, we're going to leave it like that. So we can check it out in the middle of the week. Okay, that's the, for NCDCHF. I also like to do odd uh, USD. And that's one of my favorite pairs for this uh, this week. It looks, it looks real, real nice. I, I think that's a real good setup. But we're going to see what the market tells us this week. Let me look. Where's odd USD? Right there. Okay, at Audio Z, we're going with the master trend, and it's getting it's getting ready to to drop. Okay, so um, let me make it a little bigger here. Um, don't go into the market until at least that that uh, candle close. That the four hour candle. So let's wait and to, and to see, you know. Uh, if it's gonna wreck uh, close that way in a, in a downwards direction so but this what this is a good trade for that for this week the market uh let me see the momentum in the one day the market uh it can still go you know another high maybe to that high right there okay so we gotta we gotta wait okay it's just the beginning of the week remember Sunday um, we don't advise nobody to trade on Sundays. You got to look, you know, Sundays, uh, everybody's coming in, you know, barely to new, with new trades and all that. Monday, it starts looking, it starts defining directions. Um, you know, best times to trade, it's always going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays to enter into trades anyways for direction. Um, but let's look at it. Um, uh, but this looks real, real good. So, we said the market it can probably go a little bit higher this week and then drop from there it can easily drop from there directly from where it is okay so just just be ready okay so that's odd usd another one is uh that i like to usd jpy there it goes okay usd jpy we have um we have where are we? We go to the four hour, okay. Uh, the master trend is up, okay. But we got brothers and sisters right there coming down. But we got this trade, you know. If we go to the one hour, you can probably, you can probably. Um, it, it started with the gap actually this this um this week. Um, if you see the market had a gap right there. And we're going to see how the market behaves, but uh, that would be that. That would be a good trade for for the week. But we're going to see, you know, if the market because we got brothers and sisters right here, and we know that's a very strong resistance also. So we're going to speculate that the market can do this, no problem. With this, and then after that. For sure, the markets start going very strong up, okay, for USD JPY. But we're going to see how the market behaves. Okay. Uh, I also want to see, uh, analyze Bitcoin real quick. And let me look at Bitcoin, okay. Let me look at the weekly. We're going to start all the way from the top. Okay, so our master trend, it's down, okay. In the weekly, we can see the master trend down right there in the uh, sorry the monthly now we are on the weekly let's go to the daily make it a little bigger right here get rid of this what's going on here okay let me go to the four hour I don't know if I'm doing something wrong with Bitcoin make it bigger maybe no smaller that's way too small wow okay bear with me i think the i think my computer is uh barely catching up let me try another pair just to test it 
cat chf it's not even shown <laughs> wow daily four hour one hour wow one second please bear with me Okay, let me restart. I'm gonna well, give me one second. I'm gonna restart my my MT4. Okay. Okay, that looks better right there. At least I have my shorts back. Okay, there it goes. Okay, there it is. Um. So I wanted to check Bitcoin. There it is. Okay. Okay. So we know the master trend is coming down on Bitcoin. We got brothers and sisters right there. Make it a little bigger. So what we're expecting for the market. Let me use uh, Fibonacci right here. So respect in the market if you look left right there you got 23.6 you got exactly a uh, brother and sister so we're expecting for the market to drop to 23 obviously if it has a lot of momentum it can it can drop all the way to 38 and then come back but at this point at least to 23.6 it's going to do another uh, pullback. And after that, drop all the way to, it could be uh, all, all the way to 60% or 50%. That area right there. We're going to leave it at 50% just to be conservative. So that's all we're waiting for Bitcoin this week. Uh, I know it's consolidating for now right there in that area. But it's... Um, it looks like it's going to drop to that area, do another pullback, and then come back. And then keep dropping down to 50, all the way to 60. And we'll see how the market behaves, but those are the most probable moves for the next couple days. Also, I want them to see uh, gold. Gold right here. Okay. On gold, uh, Master Trend, it's coming down also. So, I think it's time to sell gold. If you guys are... Um, for that people that are trading gold, I don't trade gold, you know. Um, the reason I don't trade it is my, my original account. It, um, it's a forex.com. I don't have metals. Okay, but pretty soon we're probably going to open an offshore account that I can let me trade uh, gold in. And some cryptos also. <laughs> okay, but uh, gold, I mean, shorts are shorts, right? And we're looking at gold right now. We're expecting gold too. Let's look at the weekly. Well, master trend is coming down, definitely. We have brothers and sisters right there. They're ready to come down. If we look at the daily to see momentum. Yep, we still we still have some momentum in the up direction. So it remember it's the beginning of the week. Um this can still move, you know either to this area over here or to that area so let's let's see what how um gold behaves right until you don't see momentum start you know coming down and um t um pretty much make make sure that it's coming down you gotta see candles coming down you know i know we got one dot right there we're in the four hour on the ma Okay, wait for three, four dots, and then you you enter the trade, and only get your water, your 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 foot um, wet. Enter with a small trade, and once you see that it starts picking up, you know start entering with stronger trades. Okay, so that's what we're waiting for gold to come down. Don't enter today; it's Sunday. Okay, it's very dangerous. All I, it can go. I'm not saying that it cannot go, but 
Uh, it's Sunday. You know, the markets are barely getting prepared again. Plus, tomorrow, don't forget that tomorrow, uh, it's a holiday. Okay, so I know the markets are, you know, they still move, but they're not going to move like a regular day. A lot of people are on vacation and stuff. So, okay, well, that's that's it for analysis, for our analysis this week. If you haven't took advantage of the system, we have this code right there. You use this code JF20. Uh, also, don't forget when you do this, please make sure you message uh, Tim with Ervin and Telegram. Um, message him directly, letting him know that you acquired the system and you're ready to go. Okay, he's going to give you an additional discount. Okay, and he can help you out the correct way. And um, if you have any questions. Uh, and let me know also so I can uh, so I can help you out also if you have any other questions if you are confused with any any of the principles or any other rules please let me know so I can uh, help okay don't give up let's keep going we are very close okay um, uh, you are very close to being profitable that's what I'm trying to say um, it, it took me years you know but I didn't have systems like this. I didn't have um, people that were trying to really help. I mean, I was just buying courses and courses and courses, but I learned a little bit about a little bit of in everything, you know, but this course is very complete. It tells you exactly what you need to know. We go to the point. We don't go, you know, around numbers. We don't go in whatever, you know. We go to the point. You learn what you need to know. Oh. Uh, this system is going to teach you how to identify a trade like a sniper you know start from the monthly uh, that is the correct way to do to analyze the market you start from the big picture and you start coming down okay because you know you identify exactly where you are in the young in the jungle okay well thank you very much uh let's have a great week uh please ask your questions in the comments if you need me to analyze any other markets next week, let me know. Put it on the comments and I will try to answer all those questions. Um, and that's what I do. Um, sometimes uh, traders do questions in other videos from the past. But sometimes I don't get those questions no more. I try to stay with the videos that I just recently did. Okay, so please let me know about that. And... uh Trade with Jay Flores, best way to go, okay? I guarantee that. Thank you very much. God bless you all.